All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're going to be looking at ScaleNut Cruise Mode. This is their template where we can create a blog post very quickly. So let's jump in. We're gonna go ahead and go up here to the dashboard and you can quickly get to it under the Power Up Your SEO section. And we're just gonna click on the Create Blog in Five Minutes Cruise Mode right here. And we're gonna need a keyword to put in here. So I'm gonna to go to my favorite keyword right over here. Uh, rank iq it already has keywords in here for me that i've already hunted down and let's go in here and find something that we want to go for so beginner running plan for weight loss that looks like an interesting one let's go ahead and copy that i'm going to come back over here to scale nut and throw that in the top over here it's going to give us some more suggestions i like that i don't know where they're getting these, these suggestions from what database they're getting the keywords from but you could also it gives you some other ideas as well but we're going to stick with our keyword right there and we're going to push start I'm going to come through over here and it's going to go out immediately it's telling us to grab a cup of coffee while scale nuts gathering seo data typically takes around 90 seconds so we're actually just going to leave this here we can't move on to the next section right here until this is done it's doing all of its analysis based on what we just told it to go right we want to write our content about right so we'll come back in just a minute okay so we are back i'm going to go ahead and fill this out right here and we just want to put in here something to tell us what the topic's about or something like that. And I'm just gonna go in here. It already did its thing, it finished. We're gonna push the next button over here. Now we're gonna go over to titles. It's going to give us some AI generated titles. They actually do really well with that. We can come over here and look at what the top ranked titles are as well. Uh, we can also rephrase a top ranked title. So that's really cool. But we're gonna come through here and I'm gonna look back beginner running plan for weight loss. And I wanna make see if we can find one right here the beginner running plan for weight loss how many miles and what time so that one could be good i like this one the beginner running plan for weight loss it has the exact keyword match right up here but it sounds natural and then it's how to start running and losing weight so we're going to go with that one for now and then we're going to just push next now we have our outline section over here and it already has come up with a bunch of different topics that we can go ahead and just add so we can go ahead and just click this and it's going to add it. These are the top suggested ones that it, so we're just gonna go ahead and add these. We also have a frequently asked questions. Uh, what types of runs should I do to help me lose weight? Is there a way to incorporate strength training into my running plan and so forth, right? So we'll just go ahead and add. You can generate more by pushing this button. I'm not really sure what this, that's if you wanna add one manually, but we're gonna go ahead and just add these real quick. It's gonna throw in a conclusion for us as well, but we need to work on these headings over here, right? So I'm gonna come back over here and we wanna answer the question, the beginning beginner running plan for weight loss. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here, how to lose weight running. We could go with the adding in these, but I think I'm gonna let the AI come up with the talking points on those running schedule for weight loss. So this is the plan right here, okay? And then we're gonna come back over here. I'm gonna put that one in there, how to lose weight faster by by running so we have that one in there I'm gonna keep scrolling down then we can come back in here and just go like beginner half marathon training tips here's one about jogging for weight loss so that'd be nice to add that word in there as well okay so just continuing adding some that makes sense to kind of beef up this article make it look really really good and then i'll come over here to the facts maybe add a couple more should i run on a daily basis or only one time per week that might be a good one and since we're under the, the questions or faq section it's going to automatically add that over here so we have a good two four six so that, that looks pretty good it's saying we need about 2000 to 2200 words right here and it's suggesting a B content grade. So what we can do now is that we have our outline looking pretty good. We're gonna push next over here. It's gonna go out and do its thing and we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, perfect. So we have our, write, our writing points or talking points, right? So each time we had an H2 or an H3 in our outline, you can see that it's going to tell you what it wants to talk about in here. And I really like this about this because you can come in here and if you spend five or 10 minutes in here, now, honestly, I don't think that you, sh uh, if you're really trying to rank content, I wouldn't really do this in five minutes. So their cruise control, yes, you can push a couple buttons and probably have something kicked out in five minutes, but I would definitely consider it a draft, right? Right? And then also, I really wouldn't do that in five minutes. I would spend time reading through to make sure that this seems factual. I'll try to update it as much as you can right here. 
right? You can add more talking points. You can regenerate if you don't like them, or you can get rid of them right here by the delete button or the trash can button, because this is the going to be the, the main part of your article, what really forms your article. And so just want to spend probably the bulk of your time right on the outline and on the writing points section. But once you have this, you can see how powerful the software actually is. And then, I mean, we have a ton of content right here and it hasn't even written the actual content. So here's where the magic happens. We're going to, you can go ahead and preview what this outline looks like from this point forward. You could actually push the preview button and then you could send that off to writers and have them finish this, right? So now you're using the power of AI to create a extremely in-depth content brief and then push the preview button right here. And it's going to give you this outline right here. You could actually so right here, okay, I guess it's writing for us by the preview, by pushing, did I push the preview button or the next button? Well, anyways, it's going out and it's actually writing the content for us right now on those talking points. And you can see that the words are just continuing to go up. The content grade is going up as well. So this is a pretty insane power with what this AI actually can do for you. So we're already achieving the word count in this article. We're going over the word count, which is just insane. Okay, so we've got about 2,600 words. It went out and wrote all this content for us. When appropriate, it added in some different, you know, numbered lists right there, listicles and and so forth. You can download the draft right here. You can export this to the editor. So it go over here, export to editor. And now we it took all those talking points. It went and wrote all the content for us right here, right? So how to lose weight running, how to lose weight running. And then right over here, it went into an H3, which is a beginner half marathon training right there, right? So we have this entire content right over here. And then of course, this is where you're gonna, you can send this over to your editor to really pick this apart and kind of make sure that it's factual. And, but you have this staple and the bulk of the, the work is done. You have 2,600 words right here. You already have a good content grade. We do need to increase this and make it a little bit better, but you're already starting off with an unfair advantage because we have this massive piece of content that we can go and start working with, right? So I would definitely go clean this up. I wouldn't have some of, some of these that are, you know, in all caps and stuff, we would want to change. So it matches with the rest of the article. Okay. But yeah, very, very impressive. It didn't come up with the conclusion. Let's see what it can do for us right here. I think I'm just going to push the end, a return button and go to a connector right here and go down to summary and then say in conclusion, let's see what it comes up with down here for us. Okay. So it just did a, a nice conclusion for us. Okay. Okay, so then what you can do now is we can come up here and these NLP terms, we can go and, and we can actually just click this button over here and it will actually write content that includes that keyword. But what I found that works best is to actually come in here and see what other people are actually writing about when it comes to miles, right? So you can come in here and a cool thing that you can do is, I'm gonna add something in here, how many miles, miles should you run to lose weight as a beginner? So I just literally just made that up. I'm going to make this an H2. And then we could let the AI write for us, but I'm going to go over here and just kind of look and see what kind of content is on other sites. And this has a plan over here. So you could actually grab this and just rephrase it in here, or you can come over here, maybe highlight this, go with AI tools, write about this content. So I'm just going to push the write about the content and see what it comes up with for us. So if you're an overweight beginner, run three to five miles per day for the first month or so, it is best to gradually increase your mileage as your body adjusts. So that I don't think that, that this does, see, this is a great point guys. This is a, a really powerful tool. It's awesome, but that doesn't just uh, doesn't seem right to me. That seems like a lot of miles to put in. So I'm going to actually go and maybe do some research. What I would show you to do is just come back over here, throw that in and see what the consensus shows. Okay. Five miles per day in order to lose weight. So you can run, or obviously if you're not in shape enough to get the running in, then you'll have to um, do the walking. So uh, the information really is kind of all over the place, but I'm going to say just from my own knowledge too, I think it's one to three miles is what I would recommend a beginner because there was a lot of in, uh, information in there that also said 30 minutes a day, right? So I would say right here, it's one to three miles 
per day. We also need to take this and then make this normal up here. So I'm gonna go back and just change that to normal text. I'm gonna get rid of this right over here. So see how we're kind of adding some more content in here that that makes sense, but we also might need to go and do a little bit of research and that's what's gonna help you rank your content, right? And then I'd come up here, this is a really long paragraph. I'd come over here and, and do a couple of returns right there and so forth, right? So come through and read through the content. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to spend 15, 20 minutes reading through this content, but you have an almost 3000 word article right here. Then we can even go in here and add images, right? Remember, come up here, we can go to here and stock images, we can say running. And pushing the enter button doesn't actually work right there. You just have to push, you have to left click right over here. I don't know why they have that, but we can just add this to the editor right over here and so forth, right? So we can go and add some relevant images through here. So all in all, a very impressed with ScaleNut. This is definitely going to be a tool in my arsenal that I will be using. It's just extremely powerful. It has everything that you would need inside of a tool to come up with content, to do your outlines. It has a ton of different uh, custom customizations. The AI writer, writer is powerful with all these different connectors. So you can just have it be able to continue writing for you right there. You can get more SERP ideas. Cruise The cruise mode's awesome. You can instruct custom. I haven't done that. I'll make a video on that where we can do some custom instructions. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but then we can also write more. So at any time you can go back to the content brief over here and get a bunch of different statistics and see where your content, you know, we, we, we're gonna need to go up here. The power content ranked number one has a lot of words, 3,500 words and a B grade. So, and you, you can see how there's 15 images and H tags. So you can use this tool. It, it pretty much checks all the boxes. You can use it like Phrase and Surfer and Neuron Writer as well. And it has a very powerful content generator AI. Um, as, you, as you can see that even just in the rough draft mode, it, it created 26, 2700 words for us. So all in all, this is a, one of the most impressive AI tools that I have seen. It is crazy that it took so long for me to, to actually check this tool out. I know a lot of you recommended this, uh, me check this tool out like, like months and months ago. I'm glad that I finally discovered it and I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials. I can tell you right now that I did create a piece of content in here and it ranked like overnight within 24 hours, it was already on the first page of Google. So for me, results speak, speak highly, right? Like if you, I take the content and then I'll read through it and I'll make sure it's really good. And then I, if I publish it on, I do have a site that I'm now dedicated, dedicating to just AI testing, AI content testing, right? Of course I want to put a quality content on there, but I also want to run, do tests for you and see what softwares um, will rank the content. I'm not gonna put crappy. If I feel like the AI software that I'm reviewing is not good, uh, like a good one, then I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna post it on the site. But this one, definitely, I was blown away in my review last, last week, and I did publish that to one of my websites, and it did rank overnight on page one. So just so you guys are, if you guys are interested in checking out ScaleNet. So all in all, this is a top recommended tool of mine and you can go and start a trial, a free trial. Just click the first link below. You can go and check the tool out for yourself and see if it's the right fit for your business for free. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.